the DPI 610E provides switch test functionality to enable pressure switches to be tested and adjusted to ensure correct and reliable operation. Ensure the pressure connections between the DPI 610E and the pressure switch are secure and the vent valve is open to atmosphere. Check that you have the correct pressure function selected on channel 1. Select the switch test option from the task menu. Connect your pressure switch contact terminals to the relevant electrical ports on the DPI 610E. On the calibrator screen, the pressure is indicated in channel 1, while the switch test details are displayed on channel 2. At this point, the contact state is detected and will be displayed as a normally open switch with the NO icon or a normally closed switch with the NC icon. The switch I have here is an NC switch, which means that in normal pressure operating conditions, its state is closed. You can now close the vent valve. We now pressurize the system slowly and as uniformly as possible to reduce overshoot pressures being recorded when the switch is tripped and reset. When the trip pressure is reached, the switch is actuated and changes to an open state. The switch I have here is rated to trip at two and a half bar, so I'll pump up until about two bar, then use the volume adjuster to slow down the pressure generated. When the trip pressure is reached, its actuation pressure is shown. Now we start to decrease the pressure to its expected reset point. The switch is configured to reset at 1.9 bar. When the trip pressure is reached, the switch deactuates and the pressure is recorded. The test is concluded with the hysteresis value calculated and displayed. If more than one test cycle is required, vent the system and press the restart button to repeat the test. The switch test result can be saved as a CSV file by selecting the save icon. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website.